Um, I've, I've been climbing for like four, three to four years. I've been climbing for a year and a half. I've been climbing for one year. She's lying, she's been climbing for like... No, it's been a year. You suck! Anyways, in today's video, we're going to compare and contrast stuff. Let's start off with forearm sizes. So we go to forearm size. Liz, go first. Charles, flex, flex your forearms, will you? And here's me. <laughs> and then we switch orientation. <laughs> and then you go be right there. And then Charles, and then Charles come in. <laughs> That's the difference in forearm sizes right there. What is the hardest thing you have climbed? Um, wait, hang on. At the gym or like? Yes, outside? at the gym. Oh, orange. Yes, because everyone knows what an orange is. What's an orange? What is an orange? No one ever told me. It's a V3. V3. Good job, passed. <laughs> you there, sorry. What's the hardest thing you've climbed? I also don't know the grading, of, but I know the colors. Okay, what's the fucking color? I've done like three whites and at least two dozen pinks. Okay, whites are V8s. Good job. Chang. Yes! What grade do you climb indoors? I've done uh, the whites, which are like V8. Don't ask me about outdoors. And what about outdoors? I've done V10. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. Are you proud of me? Like, I'm yeah. also proud of me. Thank yep. you. Thank you. No! Sacrifice your ego, Liz. You're one human of... <sighs> Next, we're going to do a max polos for as many polos as we can do. <sighs> Liz, please start first. Go, go, go ahead. Do as many as you can. I don't think I can do a polo. I believe in you. Nope. I mean, I believe you can't do one. Yeah, you're right. I can't. <laughs> ah, loser! Ah! <laughs> Charles, what's your least favorite thing about climbing? You look much better on camera than real life. <laughs> Go fuck yourself! <laughs> least favorite thing about climbing? Yes, least favorite. I don't know. The chalk is messy. <laughs> I guess that's valid. Pass. You there, what's your least favorite thing about climbing? My least favorite part about climbing is definitely the skin health of your fingers. I hate getting calluses and having to sand them and getting cracks and tears and using tape to fix your fingers. Mm. Ooh, 16, let's go! That's it. Alrighty, my turn. Charles, can you stand on that? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop at the 20. Cheng, what is your least favorite part of climbing? Oh, man, that's a good question. Uh, probably the skin thing, yeah, I need more yeah. skin. If I have more skin, I could climb way harder. It's really the only limiting thing. Of yeah, that, that really limits Climbing you. more. Whoop! What's your favorite thing about climbing? Uh, I like the social aspect of it and meeting new people. Is that before. because you had no friends beforehand or what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Charles, what's your favorite thing about climbing? My favorite thing about climbing is it's tied with the pro progression of getting better at climbing as well as the social aspect. <sighs> that was <all> awesome. <laughs> Because I too was madly depressed when I started climbing. Hey, depression buddies. <laughs> Uh, next we're gonna go for a pancake. Alrighty, how low can you go? Stretch. Is, is that as low as you can go? I don't feel that I'm sick. Alright, Charles. How low can you go? Oh. Is, is that as low as you could go? Oh, my turn. Alrighty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, pop. Chang, what is your favorite part of climbing? I don't know. I like climbing on top. It feels quite rewarding for me. Ah, uh, good physical activity. Only good things have happened to me since I started climbing, one would say. Alrighty, next thing we're doing is a one arm dead hang off the pole up. Oh my God, I'm actually impressed you could hold that. Yeah, but not for real. My hands are also very small. I'm actually impressed. Please, Charles. <sighs> How would you describe the people you've met that are climbers? They're fucking crazy. <laughs> but Explain. they're nice. Uh, can you have an example? Uh, somebody does big, scary jump moves, and I'm afraid he's going to break his face. Oh, I know who that is. Uh -huh. Describe the people you met. Who, what, describe climbers. Climbers. There's a wide demographic of climbers. Some are casual, some are more amateur to, towards professional. 
And because of that, you get a lot of people who take it seriously or not so seriously. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I... <laughs> Some people uh, try to maintain like the purity of climbing and only climb outdoors while other people don't care if it's indoors or outdoors. Um, there are some people who are know-it-alls and beta spray at you. There are some people who are very respectful ah. and ask you first. Uh, ah. There are some people who even... <laughs> okay, I give up. You win. Oh, you win like 40, dude. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, we'll coach you for free and not being a hole about it. Uh, we're gonna do a lock off at 90. Uh, Liz is gonna use two arms and just try to pull up and hold it at 90. Yeah, that, that works. Just hold on as long as you can. I'm, I'm actually really impressed by how long you can hold. My, my left one's not a good one. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Uh, what range of climbers do you know? A lot of software engineers, and I wish someone would make a study on why so, so many software engineers or IT people get into climbing, because I think it's kind of funny, a little bit hilarious, and also nurses and medical people are really into climbing for one reason or another. I'm sorry, sad though, all the people that made climbing, they're pretty nice people, I would say. Next is hanging off 20 mil for as long as possible. You got this, Liz? Oh God, that hurts. <sighs> That was like two, three seconds. Yeah, we can't use chalk, we're inside the house. Hey Liz, you're not that great at climbing. What do you suggest to people that aren't that great at climbing? Go! Go to the gym more and don't kick your feet when your boyfriend tries to make you go to the gym. What she said. Charles, what do you suggest to people that are somewhat kind of good at climbing? Uh, people who are somewhat good at climbing, basically figure out why you're there, what you want out of it, and just enjoy your time. Some days you'll have a lot of motivation, some months you won't have any, and uh, as long as you just enjoy the sport while you're practicing it, that's all that matters. Okay, I think that's like 20, 30. That's pretty good. Oh, oh wow, that's so wet. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you see, here, let me explain why. You see, you see, when you hold these things, they swing back and forth, and I'm an open hand guy, okay? So when I open hand, I can't open hand on these because they'll fall off. And so I was forced to use my weakest grip, which is the half grip. And I'm not good at half gripping, so it fell off. That's a, that's my, um, that's my excuse. If this was fixed and I had chalk, I'm, I would have won. Okay. I feel like I know that longer. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, anyways, that was just a silly video. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time, partner.